What you're watching here is a recruitment video for the Springdale Police Department in Arkansas. Three and a half minute video on YouTube. It's the usual fare, what you'd expect to see, SWAT teams. Again, armed police with assault rifles shooting at people, all part of protect and serve. But then, if you roll it on a little bit, and it's coming up now. Just watch this part. What is going on here? Police in ghillie suits in grass camo emerging out of nowhere pointing sniper rifles at people. This is the Springdale Police Department's recruiting video in Arkansas. Now we know about the US Defense Department selling all the armored vehicles that they used in Afghanistan and Iraq. And they were bought by numerous police departments across the United States with the aid of Homeland Security grants. The militarization of domestic law enforcement continues apace. But even I was shocked by this police recruitment video showing cops in ghillie suits in grass camo emerging out of the ground. Again, camouflaged, obviously to target an enemy without wanting to be detected. In camo, in military gear, grass ghillie suits, absolutely astounding. And another indication that they're treating the American people as domestic terrorists. This is another photo of soldiers in ghillie suits. They're in Afghanistan and they're armed forces snipers. They're fighting terrorists. What on earth are domestic law enforcement doing dressing up as soldiers in ghillie suits? in the United States. Here we see two US Army snipers wearing ghillie suits performing over the shoulder firing drills at Fort Benning, Georgia. So this ghillie suit, this grass camo is habitually worn by US troops. Why is it also being worn by police in Springdale, Arkansas? I mean, are they, are they planning on hunting down Americans in the woods or what? Gateway Pundit asked the question, is this Obama's civilian police army? Well, whatever you think it is, it is not normal for police to go out in ghillie suits to target enemies because that's what ghillie suits are for. They're for camouflage. They're for evading detection. They're also worn by hunters. So the question is, you know, who are they planning to hunt? This is chilling. Remember the article we did last year featuring the comments of Colonel Peter Martino? who told a public hearing at Concord City Council that Homeland Security was, quote, building a domestic army via its purchase of these armoured vehicles. In this instance, the debate was over whether to accept a $260,000 grant from Homeland Security for New Hampshire to buy a Bearcat armoured vehicle. And this is a guy who was stationed in Fallujah and trained Iraqi soldiers. Now he's warning that Homeland Security is building a domestic army. And whether it ties into that or not, the sight of your friendly local police officer wearing a ghillie suit armed with a sniper rifle hiding in the woods is certainly a disturbing sight to see. And a clear sign of the increasing militarization of domestic law enforcement. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.